Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Today is March 24th, 2021, and it's time for your Polly's Island sunrise and surf report with Dave Clayton. And I was at a loss for words for a little while there. Just beautiful this morning. Sunrise is at 712. And it's still pretty low tide right now. Low tide was at 430 this morning. And you know it's starting to be spring when we start to get no seams. And this morning there are no seams out here. <laughs> Beautiful award-winning Polly's Island. Good morning, Lee. And Ellen, good morning to you. It is another gift today. Absolutely. So the air temperature is 61 degrees and the ocean is still holding around 57. Going to be going up into the low 70s today again. High tide is going to be about 1135 and then you're going to have another low tide late. 546. Today we have one and a half foot waves. Right now they're about one or even less. And they're about seven seconds apart. Something interesting about the wind today is that in almost a year of doing this, I've never seen it where the wind would change direction three different times during one day. And that should happen today, which is pretty interesting. So it's starting out at the northwest right now. And then it's going to the southwest and then straight out of the south by the end of the day. So it's pretty interesting. Good morning, Leslie. Today is National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. It's also National Cheese Steak Day, which I think we've had about, I think there were actually like three or four cheese steak days a year. It 
It's also a very brave seagull day. No, no, not really. But the seagull is pretty brave. He's hanging out. Almost like he thinks we have a cheesesteak. I mean, he's about six feet away. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Good morning to you, Jill. We're just hanging out with some seagulls. Hey, buddy. <laughs> seagulls are so cool. Ten mile visibility today. How about that? The other national today today is National Equal Pay Day. And I started thinking about that a little bit. This morning, it's hard to believe that it's only been a hundred years since women were able to vote on national elections. It's pretty crazy, huh? Only been a hundred years. The anniversary for that was last year. I couldn't imagine a society without having both sexes or genders or all genders being able to vote. I couldn't imagine that. But we did. We had a society like that for a long time. And they had to fight for it. They had to get a lawyer and they had these 10 reasons why women should be able to vote. And they were really good. And I made a copy of them and I put them in my photos in my phone, which I'm using. <laughs> so I can't, I didn't text it to myself. I needed to so I could share them with you, but you need to, you need to find it and look at it. It's really interesting the case they put together so that they could win and they won overwhelmingly one of the reasons they said they should be able to vote women right is because and this is interesting because women that have a voice in decision making with laws and things like that and are able to make a decision on that would be more able if that's a proper English to raise a strong man I couldn't believe that they actually had to make it so that it was a benefit to man in order for the men to vote to allow women to vote. Another reason I remember anyway, I'm just doing this off memory because I, I, I read them, but I didn't, uh, I'm not looking at them, but 
Another reason was, and this was a hundred years ago, that women that had the decision-making to help in voting would feel more fulfilled and keep the house better. I just find that so interesting that they actually had to convince the men that they should vote by making it beneficial to the men. So this is about equal pay actually, national. It's not really about voting, but I think that has a lot to do with it. It's the same subject, really. And that's really valuing all people, not just one type of person, whether it be a man or a woman or a white person or a brown person but valuing everyone. It is fascinating, Holly. So anyway, they won, and they won overwhelmingly, which is why I named today Win, Win, Win Wednesday. When you know something is right, you don't give up. You go for it. And you win. Even if, if you have to convince them with a creative way. So this fits right in with our good news today. And the good news is Proverbs 10, 7. And it says, the memory of the righteous will be a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. Who comes to your mind when you think of righteousness? Who comes to your mind? Whose memory will be a blessing and continue to be a blessing? Who, who do you think of? I know we, we all think of Jesus. Who else comes to your mind? Show me the evidence. It's easier for me to think of the rotting of the unrighteous, the examples we've had in our past. It's interesting that their memory is there, but their name is rotting.
So the thing that really stood out to me was thinking about the de decisions that I make on a minute by minute basis and how it not only affects me and my family right now, but it's affecting their children and their children and their children. The decisions to make the right choice can be a blessing, not just for Chelsea and for myself and for my wife and for our children now, but also in the future generations. How powerful is that? Those women that put together a thesis to convince the men they should vote what a righteous decision they made to allow women to vote. And now women for generations have voted because of their bravery, their righteous decision. My grandmother's decision to pray for little Dave when I was in my mother's womb, her decision to pray for the future, little Dave. Makes an impact today on me and on my children. This woman that played the piano for the Charles Chipman prayed for me before I was even born. We thank you, Lord, for this incredible day. This time together to think about you, and to pray to you, and to search your word for answers and for help. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful award-winning town, Pauly's Island. And we ask that our decisions today might be righteous, Lord, through your help. Help us, Father, make righteous decisions today so that we can not only impact and bless the people around us today, but forever, generation after generation, Lord. Your word tells us that we can be blessings for generations if we choose to follow you and be righteous. So we pray this in Christ's beautiful name and all God's children said, amen. I am signing out. I'm headed to see Dr. Kelly to figure out my hip. So everybody have an incredible day. God bless you. God keep you. God help you make his incredible decisions. Look at this. 
not just to impact your family, your friends around you, which it will, but even forever, generations after you, like my grandma, that prayed for little Dave. Everybody, what a morning. I'm gonna turn this around and head back to the truck, but we gotta, we gotta see this. 10 mile visibility this morning is incredible. Okay, we're signing out now, I promise. God bless you, God keep you. God help you make his choices today and every day. We'll see you tomorrow.